wherever you look, God is doing incredible things at Family Church. Some of our stories are brand new, while others have been coming into shape for years, even decades. One thing we know for sure, God is always at work, even when it's hard to see it. Meet Doug Lampinen and Bill Bagore, two friends who have been impacting lives in Palm Beach County for almost 80 years. We were kind of church shopping, Connie and I, and Connie said, you know what? There's a church down the road, two miles, just put there, put a new sign up, let's try that. We went in there and we ran into this guy in the front door and he handed us the pamphlet and he said, your first time here? I said, yeah, it is. You know, our church was kind of struggling. So Saturday morning, we would meet at the church and pray for that piece of property on there, that corner, that God would just do something special. And they prayed that God would send somebody here to pay this building off and, and, and build a new building on this corner. It, it got finalized that the family church was gonna merge with us. God answered that prayer in a mighty way. Fast forward to today, Family Church Sherbrooke sees over 400 people worship on that same corner. Because of that neighborhood building with a neighborhood pastor, more opportunities began to open up for neighborhood ministry. Bill now lives at Arbor Oaks Assisted Living Facility, where our church meets a need among the residents there. Before COVID hit, he said, Doug, we have to start a service over here at Arbor Oaks. The reason I thought we should have church here as I saw all of these people in wheelchairs, and I said, why should they have to wait for the Lord to come to them here? They need to do, and do something to bring them here. I said, but they don't want to make a church. So I said, we'll do, I figure out how we're going to get a church started. I got in touch with Doug and I told him, you know, we can, I think we can get this going. And that's when we started, little by little. Well, we have in between 14 and 20 show up and one of the guys here came to know the Lord. Hi, I'm Tom Caprio. Uh, this is my wife, Kathy. We're both part of the residency program at Family Church. And about a year ago, we got involved with Arbor Oaks. I had the opportunity to share the three circles. And at the end, I had said, where do you see yourself in the three circles? And then I decided that we were gonna go around and ask each person individually. And when I got up to a gentleman by the name of Ed, he told me that he was still checking out Christ. And so um, I said, well, you should have a conversation with Tom. And so uh, I called Tom over. I talked with Ed, a real nice guy. I explained to him how Christ was the Messiah. I explained to him how Christ died on the cross for his sins and he could have forgiveness of sin. And, and then I asked him if he wanted to pray the sinner's prayer. So I said part of the prayer and he would repeat it. And then after that, I shared with the group that he had come to Christ. And a week later, we brought him a Bible and he's been coming to the, the service ever since. So I'm looking forward to times to encourage him and reassure him and make sure that he's growing. Yeah, it's been wonderful working with my good friend Bill Begore here and coming to Arbor Oaks. And this has been a real blessing, an outreach of Family Church. It's been really good for the church, good for the people here. We're probably the only thing like this where if, if they have members that need help with something, we've got it. Amen. <laughs>